Brandon in Alabama. Then we'll go to Christopher and John and Mike and others. I'm going to move quick now. I'm going to try my best. Brandon in Alabama, go ahead. Alex, listen, great show today. And I just wanted to say you have been on a roll today addressing things as far as the spiritual nature of what's going on in our world. And the point is this is that we have to understand that nothing happens on a world level, on a geopolitical level, that is not being orchestrated and, uh, and, and strings being pulled behind the scenes. Do we think it's a coincidence that we see the Pope, the largest of the, uh, the, the leader of the world's largest, quote, Christian religion, calling for a one world government, uh, calling that people who own or manufacture firearms can't be Christians? And you can go on and on down the list. It's is all it concerted question? world government takeover it's been launched we're now entering the new world order notice his approval rating has dropped massively with american catholics it doesn't matter he's he's got a billion third world followers that really think he's their papa when the guy is a snake leading them straight to hell is it not biblical it is all biblical. It's not a coincidence that 99% of your uh, American megachurch pastors are preaching peace and love and happiness and don't worry about anything because Starbucks is open in the United States and we're sitting in an air-conditioned church. I'm glad you just said that. I'm up. glad you just said that because I went and looked it up this morning and checked some major Christian websites and things and, and Googled uh, some of the sermons of top preachers. In fact, I meant to give this to the reporters to do a story on it. Nothing has been said by Joel Olstein or any of these people. Uh, I'll give it to uh, Reverend Graham. He's talked about it, and he's talked about the open borders. None of these so-called preachers, these glitter bugs, have talked about, it's all feel good, follow me, and you're going to get rich. No, you're going to get persecuted is what's going to happen. And, and, and they're just up there, and I don't want to attack Joel Olstein. He says some things that are good as well, but it, where? imagine if Joel Olstein came out against Planned Parenthood. Imagine what that would do. That would save millions of babies, but he won't do it. And I'm not picking on him, just, just any of them. I went and looked at their websites. Nothing out of these people. They need to get involved for these children. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, the bottom line is that we are fighting a spiritual battle, Alex. And I know you said you didn't want this to turn into a preacher fest, but if we call ourselves a Christian, we have to wake up and realize that everything in our world is of a spiritual nature. And we have to fight that battle for, through spiritual eyes. And listen, you're exactly right. The preachers are not addressing this. There are a handful of men, Franklin Gray and being one, who are willing to confront the big issues. Jonathan Kahn, Joel Richardson, uh, Carl Gallup, uh, Mark Bilt. Those are all guys that write for World Net Daily. They're addressing these issues, but see, they aren't. Dobson, they aren't Dobson's been doing it, and he's getting harassed by the IRS and getting their facilities shot up. That's exactly right. And the bottom line is we have to realize that there are spiritual things going on in this world and that our battle is not against flesh and blood. They're being played out through people, but there are powers bigger than these people that are orchestrating. And you said it earlier, they are being demonically influenced or possessed or whatever it is. And my word of encouragement to you is, don't worry about it turning into a preacher fest, brother. We have to address things from a spiritual standpoint and a spiritual nature if we call ourselves Christian. Well, it's just beyond that. I, I, uh, the, the church has been taken over to turn people off from it because it's one of the main command bases of this system. But when you really research this and you go to Bohemian Grove that's going on right now in California and, and you cover all of this, you come to the realization that it is a satanic takeover. And, and, and again, I say to the atheists and everybody, call it a sci-fi movie, whatever you want. You know, angels or, you know, demons or aliens or whatever. I don't know. I just know the elite believe they're directed by entities they, they believe they're being given all this knowledge. They're doing all this evil stuff. And if you start praying at the Capitol or at a, uh, a mortuary, people show up in black and start screaming, Hail Satan. I mean, th this stuff's going on. And believe me, just imagining, you know, that you're demon-possessed doesn't give you green skin. I, I mean, when you get around these people, you are looking at another creature. And, and that's all I can say is I've been around it too much I'm telling you, folks, it's like Avatar or something. Like there's aliens up there piloting these people around. I mean, you know, that's an allegory of Christianity. I don't, it's just it's pure evil.
To celebrate the birth of our country and give a big thanks to all the info warriors out there, we are now offering free shipping on every item shipped out of the InfoWarsStore.com warehouse. That's free shipping on all t-shirts, books, and DVDs. Free shipping on Molan Labe and 1776 belt buckles, which are also 25% off while supplies last. Free shipping on all of our InfoWarsLife.com nutraceuticals. If it's in the InfoWarsStore.com warehouse, it's shipping for free, all during the month of July. It's our way of saying thanks to the true heart and soul of this operation, who stand beside us and support us as we wage an info war for liberty and freedom for all. InfoWarsStore.com, free shipping for the month of July.